Today we are joined by Kenneth. What's your job? I sell soft drinks, crisps and chocolate. I sell soft drinks, crisps and chocolate to shops, schools and colleges. Do you deliver to Hull Fair? We do deliver to Hull Fair. What we do is we go to the fair, we go see the fair people, we take their orders off them, and then I go back to my work, I put all what they've ordered on a van, and then we go home, go to sleep, sleep and when we get up the next morning, we take it all down to the fairground and give them what stock they want, and then on the night time, they pay me for what they've bought. Or did you go to the Fest on View Park? Yeah. Yeah? Was that where they were playing the music? <clears throat> yeah. Was there some lights there? We got VIP at the View Park one. Did you? Yeah, VIP? <laughs> well, most of those people that were at the Hull Fest that were taking the rides in the burger vans, we were there before it started delivering lemonade to them. Because they came to Hull and they thought, we need some lemonade for our vans, let's give Kerry Are you the manager of your work? I am the manager of our work, but it's just a small family business. So there is no one outright boss. Are you the most unpopular? I'm the most popular, always, always the most popular. <laughs> so, you get, so people ring you the most? People ring me. What they do is they ring the depot, but they also have our mobile telephone numbers, they get in communication via Facebook. And how do they put this stuff into, into the heart? So how do they put the stuff in there? So what they do is, you see, because we do go to the fair before it's all set up, so we do see it. So it's a good question there. They bring all these lorries, yeah, and all these lorries. Do you know what Meccano is? It's like a toy where you can build things, Lego. Yeah? Well, that all fits in one big box on the back of a lorry, or maybe two lorries. And then they open the back of the lorry up and they have to build those fair rides. So there'll be all different pieces, like a jigsaw, and they'll put all those pieces together and bolt them together. That's how they're doing that. And they bring them on big lorries. I've always wanted to do this job and how did you get into it? I didn't want to always do this job, but it's a bit sad how I ended up doing this job. Because it's always been a family business from before when I was born. So before I was in the family business, my dad used to run the family business. And before that, his dad used to run the family business and so on and before that his dad used to run it. And this goes all the way back to 1893 when they first started the family business. Sadly, my dad died 23 years ago and I was working for somebody else. But because my dad's brother, who is still alive now, who works with us now, couldn't manage on his own, I came out of the job I was doing, back into the family business. If you didn't follow that career, what would you like to be? Believe it or not, when I first left college, I applied for the police force. So originally, I wanted to be a policeman. Do you think the rest of the family will join? I don't think the rest of the family will join me because they because they're all doing their own things at schools and colleges, and they've decided which route they want to take. I would never have ever stopped them if they wanted to come into the family business, but because I've got girls that have got their own interests and, and taking their own route in life, more two of them want to be teachers. What kind of person would like to do your job? Somebody that likes to travel because we take our vans all over North Yorkshire and East Yorkshire, not the world. I wish it was the world because that would be the first one to be on that. <laughs> that steering wheel. Somebody that likes talking to other people, communicate well with other people. 
Somebody that's strong, have to be fairly strong to do our job. Why does it still have to be strong? Because the lemonades are really, really heavy. They call it with one finger. One finger. Uh, well, if you're strong, then you'll be ideal, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> what was your favourite day at work? My favourite day at work is when everybody's busy, everybody's happy, nobody's moaning, all the customers are happy, and at the end of the day we've got the job done to the best of our ability, and everybody's happy. Saddest day at work. Saddest day at work is when things don't work properly, when the vans break down, when it's raining outside, customers aren't happy, customers are moaning because it's not busy, products aren't available. That's always a sad day at work. But if there ever is a sad day at work, you've always got to try and put some fun in it to turn things around. Because the last thing you want to do is come home at the end of the day from work being sad. Because when you come home and walk through the door, your family's not sad. No, you don't. You don't, do you? If you've had a sad day at school, you come home on the night and I bet your mum and dad and your sister make you happy, don't they? Mm, kind of. Kind of. Can you tell us about your friends and family? Quite a few friends. Two of our friends do just across the road over there. So we like to do, I like to do a lot of socialising. And your hobbies? I'm a big fan of Marvel. I enjoyed all the Marvel films. My family's my hobby, really. Family? My family. You know, my girls, the wife, the dog. What's your dog called again? Teddy. Teddy? Yeah. What dog is this? It? It's a cross between a Chihuahua and a Shih Tzu. Can you tell us about your gloves? Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Cracking. You're a lonely sailor, and your soul is made of wind and rain, doubts and blame. I'm a weary pirate. And my heart is made of dust and grey And spoiled champagne I've got troubles, I've got sins I'm my worst enemy But I've still got a lot to give So I think